Well, here we are again. I am going to pray to every god in every religion now because I'm reacting to more of your weird ass TikTok videos. But keep all the good work. All these videos I'm seeing. Very good, impressive stuff. Anyway, here's part three of Iron Mustache Reacts. Inamari Patris Filius Spiritus Sancti. Okay, let's just get her over with. <laughs> okay, yep, here we go. Get right into it. Yep, okay. <laughs> Hit that like and subscribe button. And enjoy the show. Here we go. Out of the 90s sound montage, which one hits you the hardest? And I'm a 90s kid. True born 90s kid. Okay, here we go. See so how this is going to go. sounds you're about to hear. Which one hits you the hardest? Nick, 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 Nick. Nickelodeon. Previously on X-Men. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. It's me, Mario. You're an idiot. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. You slammed her, you dumped her donut, you gave her dog a sausage, you stuffed her like a Thanksgiving turkey! Cartoon cartoons! Do a barrel roll! Life, uh, finds a way. What in the fucking VHS Game Boy Super Nintendo fucking Wow. When something brings you back. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. It. It. It fucking brings you back. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> ah. That was like literally going through a fucking time machine. You know what? Good job there, sir. Bringing back all those fond memories of my childhood. Anyway, we will continue on like I always do. Here we go. Nothing ever comes good out of videos made by grown-ups with Sesame Street toys. But, huh. oh, you never know. See how this goes. There's a sign above the trap door slide at the Sesame Street Clubhouse that wasn't always there, and had it been placed just a little bit earlier, a series of events never would have unfolded. It all well, started when they put that Mom, sign there, the head I guess. of Sesame Street Sanitation, was visiting Sesame Street despite the fact that it wasn't trash day. 
At that moment, everyone at the Sesame Street clubhouse was taking turns going down the trap door slide. On Big Bird's turn, he oddly hesitated before he went down, and since there was no sign warning anyone not to, Mark, who was walking by, wasn't paying attention and got plowed into by Big Bird. Mark was immediately taken to the hospital where it was discovered that he had a concussion which rendered him completely unconscious. Unfortunately, Mark had been at Sesame Street to tell everyone that he would be picking up the garbage tomorrow, but he would not be picking up the recyclables. Since he was unconscious, he couldn't tell anyone this, and the next day, Gordon, not knowing otherwise, took out his recyclables. Unfortunately, on his way out, he tripped down the stairs, fell, and cut himself on a glass bottle. So then Gordon was rushed to the hospital, what? and while waiting to see the doctor, a woman rushed by him, and unbeknownst to her, she dropped her necklace, which Gordon picked up and put in his pocket in hopes of finding the woman and returning it to her. Meanwhile, upstairs, Mark the sanitation worker had flatlined on the operating table and died. A half what? hour later, after Gordon had oh been all stitched God. up, he was exiting through the hospital metal detector when the alarm went off. Security came over, and after a quick examination, they found something on him that resulted in Gordon being taken downtown into police custody. Back on Sesame Street, Big Bird was telling Sherlock Hemlock about a strange occurrence that had happened at the clubhouse earlier that day. He explained that a strange woman had appeared in the window and told him to hesitate before he went down the slide. Sherlock, who was a detective, suddenly knew exactly what was going on. It turns out Mark was worth a lot of money, and his wife wanted it to herself, so she hatched a plan. Since Big Bird was the easiest to manipulate, she convinced him to wait until her husband was at the bottom of the slide before he went down, knowing Big Bird would crash into him, putting him in the hospital. And had he never been unconscious, Gordon would have never gone to the hospital after tripping down the stairs carrying his recycling. At the hospital while visiting him, Mark's wife put cyanide that she kept around her neck in a vial into his eye, what? which ultimately oh. killed him. So when she was rushing out the door past Gordon and dropped the necklace, which still contained traces of cyanide in it, then Gordon, who wouldn't have been there if none of this had happened, wouldn't have picked up the necklace, wouldn't have triggered the alarm on the metal detector, and wouldn't have been thrown into police custody. And when her plan was eventually found out and she was thrown in jail, she discovered that she was not the sole beneficiary of Mark's millions. That was his pet orangutan, so she did this all for nothing. Despite being found innocent, it wasn't a happy ending for Gordon what? because he got a staph infection from the cut he received earlier. And while lying in the emergency room with that serious infection, his wife Susan cheated on him with the hospital security guard. All because this sign wasn't put up a little bit earlier. There's just too much to take in here now. Like, uh, deceit and murder and... What the fuck? I am very confused now. Why? Why would you? Why? Why would you do this? God damn it. You know what? I made my bed and now I gotta make it. Or sleep in it. I made my bed and now I gotta sleep in it. Anyway. Continuing on with this question. Crazy, weird conspiracy stuff. Okay, all right, here we go. On we go. Holy cow! <laughs> um, no, you are absolutely correct, sir. That is a. That is a holy cow. But now, I'm going to turn the tables for a second. Sir, I just want to let you know, it is very offensive to talk about others' religions like that. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I don't give a fuck. I make fun of religion all the fucking time. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Anyway, yep. We'll continue on. Having a little fun today, aren't we? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not having fun. This is terrible. Maybe fun for some people, but... <laughs> anyway let's get right into it and uh, continue on let's do it definitely doing it alright I don't know what you're doing here but I'm already disagreeing with you pitbulls are aggressive get out of here come on show me the aggressiveness of pitbulls come on this is called the pitbull takedown <gasps> oh look at the baby such as this one Oh, the baby! Oh, the baby! Oh, how is that aggressive? Look at that baby! 
Well, it's a baby! It's a baby! <clears throat> Sir, you've made an excellent point. People who think that pit bulls are aggressive. No, pit bulls are not aggressive. When you are an irresponsible owner of a pit bull, it's not the pit bull, it's you motherfuckers. The owners, pit bull owners who intentionally make their dogs aggressive. That's on you, not on the dog. Okay, a little life lesson for y'all. <clears throat> but no, that very much warmed my heart. It's a baby. I do that to my, my cats all the time. It's, wherever they are, they know. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, yeah, baby. It's a baby. Sorry, I just had to play with my cat a little bit. Anyway, we'll continue on. Oh, my God. Well, for this particular video, I need to bring my... Uh, to tell y'all... How much I love my kitty. Okay, so gonna watch this video with me, Raven. Okay, we're gonna watch the video together. Oh, I look at that. Look at that. Look at the kitty. Look at the kitty, baby. Oh, look at the kitty. Oh, she do looks just like you. He looks like my baby. Yeah, look at that baby. Yeah, you do destroy my furniture. Yep, you do that. You know you do that. Yeah, you do do that. Well, good thing you don't have any headphones to chew. Oh, actually, no, you do chew on my headphones sometimes. What am I talking about? You are perfect. See that? You're the perfect baby. She's the perfect baby. Okay, you can go. You can go for now. Anyway. <clears throat> sometimes it's very impossible to get away from my cat. Why do you do this to me? You make me love the kitties. I love the kitties. I'm a kitty boy. I'm cat dad. Anyway. Anyway. That was very, very heartwarming. Thank you, Rick. Grimes. I mean. Andrew Lincoln, I guess. But anyway. Continuing on, here we go again. Always something weird when it comes to a bunch of dudes in the kitchen with one girl. Anywho, hopefully this, this is not one of those really weird things, but okay, we'll get right into it. Ah! One, two, three. Ah! Oh, bull crap, that doesn't happen. What the? Okay, whoa! Whoa! Okay, yeah, I knew something weird's gonna turn out with that one. But that dude just showed ya. Like, oh yeah, I could do one better. Oh. Uh, yeah, I ca- Oh my. <sighs> yep. That, that bro just showed ya. He just up one up to like by a thousand. Anyway, yep. Continuing on. <laughs> oh my god, why am I doing this? Okay, I am sorry, but I love this guy's content. It's just so good. Like. <laughs> like the Horian boy. It just good stuff. Anyway, on we go. They're wild. They're crazy. They're on spring break and they want to show you your tits. That's right. Oh, we say oh. your tits. It's girls gone wild and these horny coeds have acquired black and white photos of your naked man nipples. You should have paid that boudoir photographer at the mall, but you didn't. And the girl swooped in, bought the photos, had them tastefully framed and matted, brought them down to Cancun, and now they want to show them to us. Why are they doing this? Well, isn't it obvious? They've got on wild I really 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 hope 
Well, as far as I can tell, isn't the guy who, like, made those videos, like, the, the guy who made the Girls Gone Wild the videos, like, didn't he get into, like, a lot of legal trouble, maybe prison time, because, you know, he never actually, like, um, confirm any ages of some of the girls in those videos, um, yeah, but I really, really hope that they don't have pictures of my man nipples. <laughs> you don't want that. Trust me. You do not want my net man nipples. Oh, no. You don't want to see those. Huh? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> On we go, I guess. Until I die, I guess. <laughs> this is going to kill me one way or another. Alright, now I'll give you some of the greatest display of dad jokes you'll find on the interwebs. Here we go! What do the movies The Titanic and The Sixth Sense have in common? I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Got a point there, I see dead people. Never challenge death to a pillow fight. Unless you're prepared for the repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> How do you sell a deaf man a chicken? Wanna buy a chicken? <laughs> I have two unwritten rules. <laughs> I wasn't very hungry yesterday, so I just grabbed a kid's meal at McDonald's. Him and his mom were so mad. <laughs> I was working at a hotel and a man came up to the desk and said, I can't remember what room I'm in. I said, no problem, sir. You're in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, if I was working at a hotel, I'd probably be that sarcastic. I don't remember what room I'm in. Cool. Well, this is the lobby, okay? And we're going to continue on with more of this crazy stuff. Oh my god, you people are driving me insane! Bleh! Ricky Berwick, an unknown man, is back with a vengeance against Vladimir Putin. We're continuing on. Ricky Berwick. The hero that everyone needs. Let's continue on. Okay. <laughs> Better do that a little quick. Okay, anyway. Ricky Berwick. One of my favorite dudes on here. All with the show. We're so sick of your shit, Putin. So have this shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Oh my god. God damn it. Fucking Ricky. Oh my god. That that needed a good laugh there. That I needed a good good really good fucking laugh there. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Y'all driving me insane. Anyway. On we go. Oh, come on. The gospel will be preached. <clears throat> During a viewing of Spider-Man No Way Oh my god, this probably will not turn out good. But Jesus is returning. Jesus is coming back. If you put your faith... Dude, what the hell? Spoilers. I didn't even know Jesus was in it. But Je yeah, dude, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? You are going in there, in the movie theater, doing Spider-Man No Way Home, and some of us haven't even seen it, and you're going to spoil some big thing? You, sir, and sitting there with your Jesus talk and all that fucking shit, you're a dick. Because a lot of us didn't even know that Jesus was going to fucking be in it. What kind of dick-ass fucking shit is that, dude? You're just... Walk in there with your Jesus Christ sweater thing, and you're like, Jesus is coming. And then all these people in the movie theater who are there probably seeing it for the first time, they're and then they're gonna be like, Wait, are you what? 
Are you kidding me? Are you fucking insane, dude? You just ruined that entire... You... How dare you? Okay, I wouldn't know that Jesus was going to be in it. But now I do because you told everyone that Jesus is going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home. You, sir, should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself. Anyway. Yeah. No, I don't think I want to watch the movie anymore because he spoiled it. Dude with your Jesus shirt. Anyway. On we go. Oh, it looks like one of those um, How It's Made videos. Oh, okay. I, I really like How It's Made stuff. Yep. There we go. An ancient technique known as diarrhea waterfall. Whoa! The rotating motor draws the molasses Whoa, to the what? outside of the machine. While the crystal oh, that is the gross. Outside. The Hershey squirting is so violent, Whoa! the machine drops a small stop shitting arm to let the rotating <laughs> cylinder know it's getting out of control. This is not How It's off. Made. The machine pisses itself in embarrassment, which for what? most people is an improvement. In ancient, um, that is definitely not how it's made. Diarrhea waterfall, Hershey squirts, stop shitting arm and pissing itself. Actually, that would be a really fun episode of um, how it's made, how it's made, X-rated edition. Ah, uh, Jesus, cry many people. All right. Guess I'll do what I always do: continue on until I die. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Last one. Before I completely lose my sanity, last one. There we go. What are you doing, stupid hoe? It's a non-stick pan. <laughs> there was a hoe, a garden hoe, in the kitchen. And it sticks in a pan. Boom. <laughs> That is some of the lamest jokes I've seen, but no, that was excellent use of humor there. I, I'm sorry. That was very excellent uh, use of humor. Garden hoe in the kitchen and sticks in a pan. Call it a stupid hoe and it's a non-stick pan. That is a total pun intended joke. Love it. Absolutely love it. Keep up the good work there, sir. You're doing great. Anyway. Honestly, stuff I've seen, seen and react to, just great stuff. A little disturbing, but all in all, great, great stuff. Originality, which is great, and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I am Iron Mustache. This has been Iron Mustache Reacts Part 3. Um, I really hope you would hit that like, subscribe button, and uh, support my channel. In the meantime, I will say to all you good, wonderful, gorgeous, sexy people, adios, and I love you all. Big ol' hearts to everybody. In the meantime, I'm out. I'm going to be back with more content. Yes. Yep, that's what we're doing. On to the next video. Until next time, blah, blah, blah. Adios.